For example, the, we are basically an aggregate threat. The BJP in its manifesto promised that the income of the farmers would be double. But what, what happened? It has not doubled. Rather, the price of DAP has increased from 1,200 to 1,350. The price of urea has not increased, but the quantity has been reduced from 50 kilograms to 45 kilograms. Sir, very sorry, sir. We are all very much shocked at the incident what happened in Turkey yesterday. An unexpected earthquake has taken away the lives of 4,500 people. We all, of course, expressed our grief. But in this country, sir, in 2020 only, 5,579 farmers have committed suicide. Yes. That is 15 farmers per day. Same. We call ourselves an agricultural country. Sir, this country withstood their economic recession in the past and even now, only because of the agriculture sector and the public sector. These two are targeted by this country. All policies, all things that they are doing are in favor of only the pro-rich uh, people, that is the corporates. Sir, India's reserves have fallen down from 633.6 lakh billion, billion dollars to 545.6 as of 16th September 2022. Sir, what all has been done? The government has done all these things, but uh, ah, another thing, sir, the inflation, which is very, very important. Sir, in May 2022, the uh, Minister of Finance released a monthly uh, document, review document, which said that the inflation has lesser impact on the low income strata than that of the richest. Sir, it was during that time. The inflation reached the highest of 7.95%, which is 95 month high than ever before. And the rupee values depreciation, 80 rupees to a dollar. Sir, very, very, any person who does not know even much economics know very well that the depreciation of uh, any, the value of our money reflects on inflation, direct impact on inflation. And the devastating ramifications will be felt only by the poor and the middle class. And we felt it. Sir, one more thing, sir, which would be shocking. They again say we are GDP going high and all. 40% of the wealth generated in this country is owned by 1% of the population. And only 3% of the wealth trickles down to 50% of the population. Sir, when the President address speaks much about women and youth, I'd like to say, women population has increased. Dr. Lakshman, who initiated, who moved the motion, said very proudly, and Javadaikar, my friend, also told. And I would like to add to them one more. The enrollment of women in higher education is more than men, that is 27.9%. But the women employment has fallen down from 24% to 18%. So in the world, India constitutes more youth population where, where unemployment prevails more. Sir, another thing as I would like to second my friend Mr. Derek who said that, quoting the President's address, the long felt urge to be rid of the scourge of mega scams and corruption in government schemes is now being realized. What is the government doing? Should they not take cognizance of a big industry company that is Arani, which is being talked by the media, that it is being discussed on TVs, on papers, and everything? What is the government doing? Why should it not come forward? When the situation is privatization and liberalization, and it has impacted India economically and morally, will not, should not the government come forward? And what we asked for, a JPC, Joint Parliamentary Committee, to go into the issue. It's a process in the democracy. Why you are not for it? Why you are not able to do that? So the government is not intent. As he asked, what is SEBI doing? What are the other uh, agencies doing? That apart, the government, which has to come forward. Sir, when we are asking for a JPC, they should have met you in the chamber or 
coordinated with the opposition parties and said, yes, we can resolve the issue. Let the parliament see. They cannot just go out and uh, meet the media and say uh, the, the, the opposition parties are eating taxpayers' money. They are not allowing the parliament to run. It is not leveling accusation against us. They should resolve the issues. So the country is very much concerned about what has happened because of one corporate, which is being supposed to have been favored many a time by the government. So I think if at all we have to bring out something, it, it can be done only by an introspective into that by a JPC. So that has been happening here. And now we are telling this number of things which are happening. And uh, sir, the government has earned 4.86 lakh crores of rupees in three years by way of selling the public sector undertakings fully and partly. 4.86 lakh crore rupees. What for?